Hello and welcome back to The Recruit 2. During our last two episodes we have been looking into the Inner Drive update and the new hobbies functionality as well as looked into how affix stats work. Uh, during this episode when I read through the uh, patch notes for this Inner Drive update uh, I got the impression that there was a new discipline called Touring Bikes uh, and this episode was supposed to be about touring bikes uh, and see if we can do some touring bikes races but as I recorded it uh, I came to realize that it was not actually a new discipline but an addition to the existing touring car discipline which leads us up to the fact that we went and even grinded to get money to buy one of these touring bikes uh, and bought it for half a million uh, bucks just to realize that we have no races left to drive it with because we have already done all the touring car races so that was kind of a waste but uh, by doing so we at least looked into uh, what kind of touring bikes there are and uh, also how they if they are customizable uh, how is it to drive uh, how does it sound and we also unlocked our icon level 100 reward vehicle so I was thinking uh, we will look into these uh, sections anyway, or these things anyway, in this episode. So here we are at the Pro Racing headquarters checking out the new touring bikes. We have these new KTM bikes with a performance level of 209. This Ducati with a performance level of 212. And then we also have this Summit Reward Vehicles, which is another variant of the KTM bike. And finally, this BMW S1000RR with a performance level of 240. And that is the highest one you can buy, uh, except for the Live Summit Reward. So this is the one we bought. Uh, it costed us almost half a million bucks. So there it is, BMW S1000RR. And now, let's move on to picking up our Icon Level 100 Reward Vehicle. There it is, we now own a Chevrolet Camaro. And in another 100 Icon Levels, we will receive this yellow airplane. Now, I think we should move on to see if we have any performance part in stock for this Camaro and perhaps take a quick look at the uh, customization options for the car. We do have some performance parts here in stock, which we can use. These are for motorcycles really, but whatever. Maybe, maybe save that epic one. Just get the performance level up. Say, save these ones for, if we want them for motorbikes. Yeah, just smack on a high performance level. That might actually, I might want to save that for, or maybe this can be a, like a loot collecting vehicle. Let's smack it on and decide that later. Um, like that. Oh, another loot collector. Nice. All right, so that's already maxed out. So let's test out our vehicles in the open world. At least. Let's see how they sound uh, and how they handle. Maybe a quick, quick customization. Uh, this is the only one we can customize. Uh, there will be no cost, not a lot of customization at least for the touring bike as we know. So carbon hood intakes. Oh, that one for sure. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. The different kind of lights. Carbon. Yeah, let's make it like a bit DTM style. That's nice. Wide body, why not? <laughs> let's go all crazy on this one. Calipers, all since the start, we have used yellow calipers. So why change that? Side mirrors. Uh -huh. 
Is that a bit teeny weeny looking? Maybe not. Let's go for that. Maybe it's wicked. Carbon. We have some carbon in the like the front lip of our front. What's it even called? Front bumper. Yeah, there is some carbon there, so it makes sense to make uh, go along with carbon on the side skirt. Rear fender, wide of course. Rear wing. We have like this DTM style, so let's see. Oh, that's cool, like a NASCAR, like that. Mm-hmm, or like that even. That's more like drag, right? I actually like this one. Let's go for that. That's more like classic American muscle, I think. And the, the later, the other wing, uh, this one is more like European Asian tuning style, if you ask me. So that's why I go with that. Um, let's see if we can match this somewhat with the, how the front looked. We have one of the later ones. I kind of like these exhaust tips. We never used that, but they are kind of cool. It could be suitable for this car. Oh, we've already gone all around. With that one, we have no diffuser, which is kind of odd. So, okay. Dark light. What's the difference? Okay, so that's one big light instead of a half light. I don't know. Maybe go with that. Maybe that's just brutal. Like uh, um, a sleek rear and a low front. Sort of goes also like American uh, muscle car style, if you ask me. Like a bit uh, lower looking in the front and a bit higher in the rear. Yeah, you know. I think you know what I mean. Interior color. We have always come with this, it's how we roll, so let's just continue with that. Insert, maybe carbon on this one. All right, so what happened with the car? We of course need some other rims. These rims do not match this car. Um, <laughs> rims. We need some deep rims for this car. That Those are kind of cool because they look like uh, they're quick bolt on, like racing style. So that's number four. Let's keep those in mind. Those are deep as well. But those are even cooler, six. I will think I'll go with six, I think. I like those deep, like deep rims. We see a lot of the inside of the fender, it looks like. Yeah, real muscly, if you say like that. Like a real muscle car. Um I usually don't fancy black rims, but should we go for it on this one? At least like dark ones like that. They usually appear lighter when we go outside. Uh, I like some wheel side. I mean, it's a muscly car after all. So maybe it should actually have a bit of a, you know, tire side. Maybe like that and maybe even increase it. This I, I rarely do. I don't know. Yeah, so the thicker tire is in the rear. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks great. Yep. Color-wise. Ooh, looks good with the lights there. This baby look, dresses well in black. Yellow works well too. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe if we could get like, with a bit of livery with black and white. Oh, sorry, black and yellow. Let's check real quick. What kind of liveries do we have? There, for example. 
Yellow and black. That looks brutal. Alpine. Well, yeah, Alpine is sure, but I don't know if it sort of works well with this type of car. Alpine. Alpine seems like. I mean, yeah, it's, it is a street car, so street tuning wise it works fine, but I would almost like something even more like racing style. But I can't be bothered to create my own livery. Um, let's go with that one. Let's go with the Alpine one. I think it, uh, it looked good with the car anyway. Let's not get too hung up on that. It said just Alpine. Look at this. That looks super great, I think. With the black rear. Yeah. Better than this, even better than this one. Yes, I want this one. Okay, let's go with that. Good. So now let's take it for a spin. See how it sounds, looks, and feels. Select. We're out here on a rainy racetrack. No. New York, let's go to Miami or something. Yeah, let's go from our house. Just travel to, don't enter, and drive from there. Bit better weather here. I will stop over here to have like a look at the car. Let's see how it looks out in the open. Ah, oh, there are more brands like a Hitachi Alpine Bosch. Yeah. Yeah, it looks absolutely brutal, I think. The windows are totally black, though. Didn't notice that. I mean, that looks like. Mm, would anyone really have that? Well, but it looks brutal. Looks really brutal. Okay, and the interior, very modern, <laughs> big uh, hood scoop. What's this? Freaking roadblock. Ah, at least he responds, but uh, he responds audio wise, but not like action wise in move your ass. So that smacked our windows. Yeah, good looking car. Let's switch to the bike as well. Let's just check it out. Well, that's a great start. <laughs> Let's see, 300, yeah, 349, I don't think we reached 350, but that's definitely the quickest so far. The whole point of this episode I thought was to get back on track with progressing in the game, since we have so far released two episodes where we have not progressed at all. Uh, but, um, yeah. The struggle for this episode has been real, so 
all in all we have not progressed anything this episode either but we have had a look at touring bikes we have unlocked the uh, icon level 100 vehicle we have also figured out how this touring bike discipline works it's not really a new discipline it's just a new vehicle for the touring car discipline so yeah that needs to be understood correctly uh, it kind of fooled us to wasting half a million uh, but yeah no regrets it is what it is if we need to get back to grinding then that's what we'll do um, hopefully next episode we will progress uh, even more so uh, I will round off this episode here right now uh, thank you all for watching I hope you liked it after all uh, and if you did please leave a like and a comment if you want to stay tuned for new content st uh, subscribe and click the little bell button bit distracted by the dude behind her ramming me seems to want to race or something uh, anyhow thank you all thank you for watching have a nice day and <laughs> bye bye